That's right. I am back in Anyang. Anyang is a very old city in central China with a rich history. It was the capital city for like seven different dynasties in China's history. I mean, if that wasn't cool, I don't know what is. But first, full disclosure, I went to college in this lovely city. So the first thing I did was to go back to my alma mater for a stroll. While walking on campus, I think I still know my way around here. Four years of living and studying in here were memorable, and I gotta say, the city's cultural elements really gave this school some special features. Dun, dun, dun. You better see this. This is the kind of motif that you can only find in schools here in Anyang. It's called oracle bone inscriptions, and it's like paintings, like this one. It says claws, and apparently is an animal claw, but. To better describe this kind of painting or word, you better see it with your own eyes. It's pretty obvious now, right? As you can see, there are ancient letters carved on animal bones, mainly cattle scapulas and tortoise shells. They are important references to study the original configuration of Chinese characters and the earliest state of Chinese language grammar. But apparently, the school has more to offer. Just the school plane, but seriously, not so many schools have planes, right? I mean, it's freaking cool. Apart from this huge passenger plane, the students also have helicopters as well as jets over there. I mean, I just envy these students for having so much learning materials, and I did. This huge place is not only for the plane, but also for the students. Their goal is to become pilots after they graduate. This is more beautiful. The students told me this actually isn't the only place nearby that has planes. Well, at first glance, you may think this is an aerospace museum with all these plane models and this killer telescope, but it's not. It's just a local middle school here in Anyang City. Well, I remember my middle school days. We didn't have this for sure. I spend the rest of my day at schools nearby. Trust me, it's like a hundred times more fun than the old days, and it seems that when you have so much access to learn new things, you tend to think of the bigger picture. Hmm, I grew up more like a basketball player. Basketball coach. Basketball coach. Basketball coach. Basketball coach. Basketball coach. Basketball coach. I talked to one of the teachers at my school. He said it doesn't really matter where you are as long as you have solid skills. 可以看到一个趋势，就是很多现在的年轻人其实是从大城市回流，呃，来到自自己的家乡或者是这个小一些的城市，依然可以做得更好。Actually, it's not just the students who are updating their mindsets. So are the teachers. 其实老师就是。从原来的教变成现在的导，我就是给你做一个引导，然后让你自己去发现。现在这个时代，就是各种资讯、自媒体呀、啊，各种学习网站呀、啊，就是特别的多。所以说，他们获得知识的途径非常多。嗯。嗯那么也就是说，也督促着我，我必须得不断的去学习、去更新。嗯。嗯那么。这样的话，我才能够去教他们。否则的话，我可能就丧失这个教育者的资格了。From schools to its people, this old city has witnessed years of change. But no matter how the wheels roll, one thing remains the same. 做好每一天，更重要，更重要。只要你做的事情是开心的，是你想要做的，其实就就可以。